thyroid and fertility. We are gonna dive into this today. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert. I am author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon, where you can learn more about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. Now, keep in mind too, I also did a very intensive podcast on this topic too. My podcast is The Female Health Solution. You can subscribe to that, as well as subscribe to my YouTube to stay updated on all the videos I have coming out. But diving in really quick here, thyroid and fertility. A lot of times when we work on fertility, uh, you know, people think, oh, I need to work on my estrogen or my progesterone or the balance between the two. That's what, that's what's important. Mm -hmm. That's what, for sure. But you, you don't want to forget about all the other hormones in your system and how they impact the production and maintenance of estrogen and progesterone. So if you are somebody that has excess estrogen, right? Estrogen dominance, maybe PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, whatnot, all of these issues caused by excess estrogen in your system. This can actually throw off your thyroid production. H how would it do that? How would it do that? So having that excess estrogen, I'm going to read it off just to make sure I <laughs> say it correctly because I, I started this video over because I keep <laughs> botching the word because it's, uh, it's intense, right? <clears throat> When estrogen levels are elevated, your thyroxin binding globulin is also um, elevated. So it's gonna to bind to more thyroid, uh, which means that that estrogen dominance can lead to hypothyroid symptoms. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's, it's essential that we're measuring this as well as this if you are working on fertility. Now let's jump to progesterone. Now we know that your body needs to ovulate to produce progesterone, but there's actually a big connection between thyroid hormone and your progesterone. If your thyroid is not producing enough and activating, right? Your, your thyroid, which is located here at the base of your neck, produces that T4, and then it has to get converted to the active T3 in your system to really be utilized by your, by your body. If your body doesn't get enough of that active thyroid, it, it's not gonna ovulate regularly, on time, or anything. It's gonna have a hard time ovulating regularly, which means you're gonna have a hard time producing that progesterone. And that's one of the biggest things for fertility. So these go hand in hand, and the poor progesterone, right? Excess estrogen can also impact that production of progesterone and maintenance and everything else. And then the excess estrogen also throws off the thyroid, which then can impact the ovulation, which impacts the progesterone. See how many things are kind of coming into play here related to that progesterone, you know, release of the, the ovulation, release of the egg, and then the elevation of progesterone. And this, I mean, it literally means progestation. So this is what's so important to get pregnant, stay pregnant. We want that progesterone to be as strong as possible. That means that estrogen needs to be kept in check and we are keeping really close tabs on all of your thyroid hormones. Now, we look at thyroid, we don't just look at TSH, we look at T3, T4, the antibodies, so we really need a full panel. Now this is something oftentimes you can order yourself. So. I talk a lot about Dutch testing, right? I talk a lot about the Dutch test. Um, you can learn more about Dutch testing, you know, click the link below. If you have gotten a Dutch test, great. If not, oftentimes it's important to see these levels as well as a full cycle map. Are you ovulating at all? Are you ovulating late? What are your progesterone levels? And then getting a full thyroid panel too. We don't wanna miss anything. And when you're looking at fertility, oftentimes you're, you're trying all of these different things and jumping into everything and just hoping it works right away. When you really allow your system the time to function the way that it should, it's incredible what can happen. This is, this is actually really kind of fun timing. I talked to somebody about this today on the phone when I was um, having a conversation with her. I was having a, I was going over somebody's Dutch test, her first Dutch test that she's ever had. And we were talking about her health and her hormones. She has a lot of crazy estrogen dominance. Um, and she was like, yeah, I know I'm in my thirties now. And I'm looking at fertility a little bit, not just yet, but maybe in a year or so. And I said, okay, cool. By the way, this is super fun. I started working with somebody about eight or nine months ago and we were working on her hormones and, for, and things leading up to when she wants to be in optimal fertility, which was about a month ago. You know, she's like, I'm going to start trying at the very end of the year. 
which was as I'm recording this uh, about a month ago. And so I said, okay, we can do everything, everything possible to make sure we're not missing anything, any little thing. So we did, you know, Dutch and a full thyroid panel to encompass all the things we needed to look at. And um, her body was so tuned in, so on track, that when she was like, okay, I'm ready. This is what I had planned this. This is what I wanted this to be. And she sent me a message yesterday saying, well, <laughs> first time's a charm, I guess. She's like, cause I am now pregnant. <laughs> and she's like, well, that was easy. I'm like, that's how it should feel. That you know your body's functioning well, that everything's working like clockwork and you can plan and predict your best fertile time for when you want. So hopefully this has been helpful, um, helpful information. Again, this is just a, a brief introduction to some things to look at, especially if you've really been struggling and you're like, I'm trying to do all this stuff. What am, what am I missing? It might be thyroid. So check the link below. Let me know if you have any other questions or if there's anything else I can help you with. Don't hesitate to reach out. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in and I will see you later. Thank you.